The Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank, Michelle Bullock, will replace Philip Lowe at the helm of the RBA. Ms Bullock has worked at the central bank since 1985 and will be the first woman to lead it. The decision continues the convention of the government appointing the new bank boss from within the RBA. The Prime Minister says she's the right person to steer the bank into the future. Ms Bullock is an accomplished economist with wide experience at the RBA, including as Deputy Governor and Deputy Chair of the Payment Systems Board. The incoming Governor will oversee the implementation of the recommendations of the RBA review to make sure we have the most effective central bank and monetary policy framework as Australia and the world faces ongoing economic challenges. The tumultuous tenure of Philip Lowe as Governor will end in September. In 2021, he predicted rates would be unlikely to rise until 2024. But 12 rate hikes in 14 months has proven costly for borrowers, with many now struggling with higher repayments. The Treasurer has thanked Dr Lowe for his service. We thank Phil Lowe for more than four decades of dedication and commitment and service, not just to the Reserve Bank, and not just to the economy, but to our country as well. Uh, Phil Lowe goes with our respect, he goes with our gratitude, and he goes with dignity. And I want to make that clear. The soon-to-be outgoing Reserve Bank Governor issued a statement saying the Treasurer has made a first-rate appointment and he's congratulated Michelle Bullock on her appointment. He adds the Reserve Bank is in very good hands as it deals with the inflation challenge and implementing the review into the RBA. Business reporter Sue Lannan is at the Reserve Bank. Sue, what more can you tell us about Michelle Bullock? Well, Karina, she joined the Reserve Bank as an intern in 1985. So she's from regional New South Wales. She studied at the University of New England and also studied at the London School of Economics. So as we heard there from the government, Michelle Bullock's seen as a very experienced and accomplished economist. The government saying that she's the right person to lead the RBA forward. So she's held a lot of senior roles in the Reserve Bank. In about 2010, she became head of payment systems. So that role involves overseeing uh, government funding and also the issuance of notes. And also, then she's also been the one of the assistant governors. So when she was one of the assistant governor roles included head of financial system. So that includes overseeing the housing market, overseeing banks and so forth. And of course, last year, she was made the deputy governor, the first woman to hold that role in the history of the Reserve Bank. Now she is the first woman to be the governor of the Reserve Bank in Australian history. She is seen as a safe and steady pair of hands. She has been, uh, at, as I mentioned, at the bank for a long time, but also she's been involved in the responses to the Reserve Bank review. Now, we heard her in a press release say today that she's honoured to take the role. And this comes at a challenging time for the Reserve Bank, but she said that she's committed to implement the recommendations of the Reserve Bank review, Karina.